Hi guys, it's Sasa uh, Crafter. Today I want to tell you how I made this flower. Isn't that pretty? Make sure you can see it. If you want to see a picture of these flowers, you can go check out uh, my blog. These flowers is not my creation, guys. I found at the uh, blogs. I'm not really sure what the name was because it wasn't the uh, English, so I have no idea what the language. But her tutorial, oh, you can t see on the picture, is easy to follow. However, she made like a blooming flowers, but I don't know how I I made this. My cannot make like blooming, so that's it. I, I make. So guys, <laughs> poor me. Anyway, now we're gonna start. Okay, I use a rig rag uh, ribbon here. I cut 10 inches, two pieces. Now on her tutorial, she, um, okay. You wanna put this and she sew it together, two pieces together, but for me, I gonna use the hot glue, the first part, okay? I find this really fast for me, guys. Save my time a lot. So, use a little bit of hot glue there. And you wanna close each other, you know what I mean? See, like this, guys. You don't have to use the hot glue again. I use in the end when it, it start. When it start, use the hot glue in the end. You put the hot glue again. I find that's really convenient and really fast for me. So this one gonna be really quick tutorial guys because I didn't show you how to dye all my ribbon except my time as you guys know so I use the same thing over and over again So in the end, we're going to use the hot glue to adhere together. Now, I don't know which part you want to start, uh, which end you want to start. I'm going to use this part. And now we're going to use um, the sewing needle, but first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll it. Is it going to roll it? To create the... Uh, see the flower? You can use the hot glue tool here if you lazy to use the thread and needle to sew it together. But I find that if you use the hot glue in to when you roll it, it you make like a what it call a flat look, not dimensional. Because if you use the needle, you can adjust how dimensional you want your flower to look.
see this one you can you know put your finger to make the your flower pop up adjust it anything you want and now see um, we're gonna use a needle let me get my needle here to make sure a flower did not fall apart On this the end here I gonna push it um I right here is the bottom so I want to hide on the lead part I don't like it to show though so that why I gonna push behind there in the bottom and you're gonna adjust so you can get this one look and I'm gonna use my fell here you see it's got all the ink over I'm gonna cut little square and trim a little bit like um, round shape Here we go, I done the flowers. See? Okay guys. If you guys use this tutorial, please give the original credit, okay guys? So that means you respect their uh, creation and make them want to do more tutorial if you guys give them the credit. See the flower is it's it very pretty, I like it. Okay, that's it guys and thank you guys for um me and Cody we will wishing and I'm doing pretty good now except Cody he um tore up today when uh, I dropped him off at school and up the uh, an hour later they called and said pick pick Cody up because he tore up at school so the loo said not allow him to stay in there until he get um better like 24 hours stay away from school so he seemed fine now i'm not really sure what happened or he might knew that mommy and daddy were off together so he didn't want mommy and daddy to be alone together maybe <laughs> uh, but cody is still taking his medicine he seemed okay not not perfect yet but he'll be okay okay that's it guy and thank you guys for watching bye why are you sleeping <laughs> Find a big turtle. Good place for a little.
one to be between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh,